What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Alliance. Feel free to subscribe if you're new to this channel. I'll be rolling up a couple of videos in the upcoming weeks about business and self-development and really those kind of things. So today I wanted to talk to you about being black in Norway and my experience with being black in Norway. I'll also be answering a couple of questions that I have gotten repeatedly uh, about dating as a black woman in Norway, safety, and just generally how it's like being a black woman in Norway. To give you guys a well-rounded idea of how it's like being a black woman in Norway. Um, just a quick disclaimer so you don't come after me. I'm not in any way saying that this is how being black in Norway is for every black woman in Norway. I'll be talking based on things that I have experienced as a black woman in Norway. I'm in no shape and form saying that this is how being black is for every black woman. Every experience that I'm going to be talking about are my own experiences and how being black in Norway is for me from my perspective. So part one will be about being black in Norway and part two will be about dating as a black woman in Norway. So I grew up in Norway and I have lived in Norway for most of my life. My mom moved to Norway with my sister and I when I was four years old and I have lived in Norway ever since. Having lived in Norway for most of my life, I would say growing up in Norway in a predominantly white area as a little black girl was a little bit challenging. Going to my young adult life, my experience of living and being a black woman in Norway is however very different. My set of challenges and difficulties uh, as a black woman in Norway have changed over the years which I am going to talk about more in the other part of this video but as an outgoing and generally open person there are some few unwanted experiences that occur every now and then. So as a black woman that grew up and lives in Norway I get a lot of common question repeatedly. One of the most occurring questions I get is do you people stare at you because you're black? People do not stare at me because I'm black in Norway. I don't get stared down by strangers except from just the very curious kids that probably haven't seen someone with brown skin before. I do however get a lot of stares when I wear out my natural hair. It's usually harmless curious stares like they are surprised by the texture or volume of my natural hair. Another question I get repeatedly is are Norwegian racist or another version of it uh, is Norway a racist country? I really can't speak on behalf of the 5 million people living in Norway but generally speaking I would say Norway as a country isn't racist. There are some racist Norwegian individuals for sure but in my 21 years of my life I have cross path with maybe three not more than five racist individuals. Norway is a closed society for sure in more ways than I can explain in this video but Norway is not a racist country. The next question I don't get as often but kind of fall into the grand scheme of things from a demographic standpoint is are there any black people in Norway? There are many multicultural African diaspora mixed black people in Norway. But not all are the same. There are black people with multicultural backgrounds, there are black people from from Ethiopia, there are black people from France, there are black people from South Africa. There are pretty much a lot of black people in Norway from various parts of the world. With Black Lives Matter, the most question I have gotten recently is as a black woman, have you experienced being a victim to racism or gotten any racially charged questions or comments? I have experienced some racially charged questions or comments a couple of times. A very common one which I get a lot is you sound white or you talk really posh. Why do you articulate yourself so properly? I'm always baffled when I get this comment. Um, like, why can I not articulate myself in the way that I want and also be black? Another example of a comment I got more when I was younger is, you're pretty for a black girl. You you might have gotten crossed at that one yourself. Like, what do you mean I'm pretty for a black girl? 
why can I just not be pretty regardless of my race? Luckily, I don't get this comment a lot. But the few times I've gotten the comment, I wouldn't even know how to take it. So I would just get surprised by the awful comment and be like, okay, to express my disapproval of the most despicable compliment in history. While we're talking about violence and racism, one question I get a lot related to the these topic is, do you feel safe as a black woman in Norway. I feel generally safe in Norway. I haven't experienced any incidences of dodgy guys or shady men. I have luckily in those few incidents I've been in had very caring guy friends. I am however not naive to the fact that there are a lot of people out there that don't have the purest intentions. As a result, I take safety precautions and measures to ensure my own safety when I am alone, just like I would if I was traveling abroad. The thing with being black in Scandinavia is that the Scandinavian cultures, from what I have experienced, seem to be more socially educated, almost detached to a lot of the racial-driven structural imprisonment and oppression one will experience in other cultures in Europe or America. That is not to say that there are no racist people in Norway. So it's actually really rare that I get made aware that I am black. The term doesn't really hold or have a lot of power like it does in a lot of um, countries or cultures in Europe and America. Teachers throughout my schooling treated me like any other kid in my class. Authorities didn't make me feel less than. That's just my experience. But then again, I have never really gotten in any real trouble so I can't really speak about mistreatment by authorities in those situations. So you're probably wondering, how is it like dating in Norway as a black woman? Um, so dating as a black woman in Norway is doable if you're open-minded and live in Oslo or outside a big city. It's almost impossible if you live in a small city. I have dated a lot of guys over the past few years across the spectrum, but none of them were guys that went to my school, which was located outside of Oslo. Um, dating in Norway, as for any race and location, is easier if you're open-minded and uh, meet a lot of new people often. Based on my experience, I wouldn't say it's hard, but I would say it's a little bit more challenging than if I were today in a much larger culturally diverse city in Central Europe. A question I get a lot uh, in this particular area is, have you experienced being fetishized as a black woman? Unfortunately, yes. Without going into much details, Norwegian guys and men fetishize black women all the time. But not all Norwegian guys are like that. It really depends which dating pool you are swimming in. Some types of guys for sure fetishize me more than others, but I have just learned how to cope with that and how to dodge those bullets over the years. All in all, I love Norway. When people ask me how I identify given my rough split identity, my answer is always I feel more Norwegian than I do Brandian, which is really bad, I know, but I don't have the same point of reference to my mother tongue or connection to Rwanda where I was born like my older siblings have. I can only talk based on how I feel and that is just how I feel. Having been raised in Norway and integrated in the way of living, I would say I will always consider Norway my home home, even though it sometimes doesn't feel like home home, if you know what I mean. The last question I get repeatedly is, would I recommend people to visit Norway? Absolutely, for sure, yes, 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 yes. Norway has a lot to offer in more ways than you can imagine, even if you don't plan to stay for a very long time. Norwegians, including the older generations, are really polite and respectful. There are some racist elders, just so you know that, like in any other country, but they are usually the exception, not the norm. They do, however, expect the same politeness, 
back. Uh, so being rude and disrespectful for no particular reason in Norway doesn't get you far in this country just like it wouldn't get you far in any other country in the world. With that said, that is it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos on how you can start that side hustle, build that business and create the dream life you want while creating success and impact in the process. Until next time, have an amazing day. Bye! Thank you.